Okay, here's my uh, got my 29th, 28th or 29th boiler. This one's 16 inch diameter, 38 tall, just on the boiler and, and including the firebox. Uh, pop off valve might go off here. It's getting kind of close, so don't be surprised. But uh, set at 125. Got a great whistle on it. This one really sounds fantastic. Uh, it's got a blower up here, blower ring inside the. It removes a lot of air through the fire. That works great. Um, Tricocks are here. Blow it down with. Water sight glass. Uh, hand pump. Bronze hand pump. Stainless steel ram. Three quarter ram on it. Got a little container so you can see the water going down. Definitely works. A couple check valves on it. There and down here. And of course the intake. Well, that works real good. Uh, draft door and ash pan. That's a lot of air in there. Uh, Pop-off valve set 125 on this one. Drain and fill. Uh, the base is 25 square. Top of the stack is 78 inches tall. Brand new up to 120 right now and it should pop off here if it's working properly. That'll uh, power a two or three horsepower engine, steam engine. Starting to rain here. Think of anything else? Great boiler, brand new. Oh, tubes. Uh, there's copper tubes in it, rolled in. 25 of them. Pardon me, 24 of them. And they're uh, three quarter copper tubes. 24 of them. And um, well, there's a, a outlet on the back of it for an engine or whatever you want to run right here. It's half inch which is kind of big but for this size of boiler but then you can put bigger equipment on it if you want to for a while although it probably won't keep up with a really big engine and that's about it pop off valves working good it actually goes off at about well, 135 or something I've had this boiler up to 200 pounds, so it's very safe. It's small, but it, uh, it's really raining out now. Uh, you know, it lets off enough steam, certainly.